Can I sue for injuries from abandoned electric scooters? Electric scooters are becoming an increasingly common scene on Colorado streets, sidewalks and bike lanes. Although some e-scooters are privately owned, most belong to rental companies like Bird & Lime. In Denver, Bird & Lime work in a partnership with the city to permit a large number of their scooters to occupy streets and sidewalks. At the end of a user's ride, the electric scooter is left at the destination where another user may rent it. But what happens when electric scooters are abandoned in unsafe locations? They can cause injuries to pedestrians, other scooter riders, bicyclists, motorcycle riders and car drivers. If you have been injured by an abandoned electric scooter, contact our Denver Scooter Accident Lawyers for a free case review. How electric scooter rentals from Bird and Lime end up abandoned on Denver sidewalks and streets. Bird, Lime and other electric scooter rental companies champion the convenience of picking up scooters when you need them and leaving them where you end your ride. It is not difficult to find them laid down on sidewalks, in wheelchair ramps at intersections, in parking lanes or bike lanes, and sometimes even in the middle of the street. Although electric scooters have kickstands to park them upright, many riders throw them down or do not secure an upright electric scooter in an appropriate location. Why Abandoned Electric Scooters Are Dangerous Abandoned electric scooters are more than just an unsightly nuisance on Denver sidewalks and streets. They present a danger to other people using the sidewalks and streets, even other electric scooter riders. Abandoned e-scooters on sidewalks are especially dangerous for pedestrians who may trip and fall over the flat or improperly secured scooter. Electric scooters can easily get caught in the legs of somebody tripping over them and cause a worse fall. Fall injuries accidents can result in serious injuries including The abandoned electric scooters become more dangerous at night due to their coloring. Most bird and lime scooters are primarily black in color, making a fallen e-scooter difficult, if not impossible, to see at night. Can I sue if I'm injured in Colorado by an abandoned electric scooter? You may have a claim if you are injured by an abandoned electric scooter. For a personal injury claim, you generally must show negligence or intentional bad acts by another person. Leaving an electric scooter in a random location either on its side or unsecured where it can fall over, may be a negligent act under Colorado law. If you suffered injuries caused by an abandoned electric scooter, you should talk to our scooter accident lawyers about your case. Our lawyers can evaluate your situation and help you understand your rights to recover against one or more responsible party for a scooter accident. There are many lawsuits around the country arguing Bird, Lime and others have a duty of care to the community where they leave their electric scooters. What should I do if I am injured by an abandoned electric scooter in Denver, Colorado? If you suffer injuries due to an abandoned electric scooter, you need to act quickly to protect your claim. Call 911 or the police to report the location of the injury. Gather evidence at the scene. Take photos of the location and the placement of the scooter. Make sure you have photos identifying the owner of the scooter and any identification label or serial number on the e-scooter. Obtain medical care. You should seek medical evaluation at an emergency room or urgent care for your injuries. 
call a personal injury lawyer. The insurance companies will not make your claim easy to pursue. An experienced personal injury lawyer in Denver, Colorado can help you navigate the insurance claim process and advocate for fair compensation on your claim. If you have been injured by an abandoned electric scooter owned by Bird or Lime, contact Front Range Injury Attorneys for a free case review.